Hello guys, here with a new video for the channel. I hope you like it, and if you like it, don't forget to leave your powerful like supreme god level, comment, and subscribe. Now without further ado, get comfortable. Let's begin. On a planet named Vegeta, which was a planet of warriors who were in charge of the conquest of planets, a Saiyan named Kakarot had been born with the power in Zero, which was not considered or low class. However, while all this was happening, the god of Universe 7, Beerus, was very upset, because no being was able to cope with his incredible power. So at that moment, Beerus, a little disappointed, would go to sleep, while Whis was thinking about everything what happened to your god. I will take it upon myself to personally train this warrior who is powerful enough for Beerus to know defeat. Whis, who would begin with his search throughout the immense universe, noticing a Saiyan ship which was going to planet Earth, Whis would quickly, with his great speed, reach the little one, taking him quickly to his planet, which at the time of arrival would begin to raise him. With the teachings of an apprentice to God of Destruction, after only four years the little Kakarot was able to master all the variants of the Super Saiyan, beginning to meditate to be able to control his internal energy and achieve the state of a god. However, it was impossible for Kakarot, who was still still only a child. Whis, I'm not able to access the state of a god. I want to cry. <laughs> Don't worry, my little Kakarot. This is normal. You are only four years old, and even you are much more powerful than all the survivors of your race. Really, Whis? But I want to be so much stronger. You have told me about Mr. Beerus. I know I'm only a child, but one day I'd like to face him. Of course you would face him, Mr. Beerus. Even I am confident that you are able to defeat him. All this power would pass through Wiss's mind, while Kakarot would excitedly begin to raise his battle power, even reaching the Super Saiyan 3. I'm excited! I'm very excited! I'm stronger than all my race! So this would continue with the great training in which Kakarot was never able to grant a blow to Whis. However, Whis would begin to navigate about the status of a Saiyan God, realizing that he needed the power of five other Saiyans more. So in the whole universe of Seven, it was impossible for him to get such a ritual. Kakarot, do you want an adventure in Universe 6? Of course, Mr. Whis. If it's the first time I'll leave the planet of Mr. Beerus, I'm very excited about everything we'll do. Whis together with Kakarot, who was already 10 years old, they started heading towards Universe 6. At the moment, they would arrive at the planet of the Saiyans of Universe 6, who without discomfort accepted to perform a ritual. However, Whis would omit several points so that these Saiyans do not know anything about the God State, even erasing their memory at the time of leaving. However, when Kakarot ascended to the God State, his hair had turned to a red color. While it seemed that it had grown and thinned a little bit, Whis, along with Kakarot, would return to the planet of Beerus, who began to train said state. But after a few hours, the whole state of Kakarot would disappear, returning to normal. But in the entire internal system of Kakarot, the essence of a god had remained, and of this he would wish. Ho oh, ho ho! When we had to go to Universe 6 for the Saiyan God ritual, and only stayed for a few minutes. What a disappointment. <laughs> Don't worry, Kakarot. There's no evil that has come for good. The essence of a god has emerged with your internal energy, so you don't have to worry. Excellent! I want to be as powerful as you, Wiss! <laughs> That's a great goal, Kakarot. I hope in the not-so-distant future I can fight you little. But Wiss would also realize that although Kakarot had lost the state of God Saiyan, his body had been toned to a somewhat more adult body to be able to withstand the entire state of a god. Wiss, without giving importance, would begin with the training of Kakarot. Being able to months of training, Kakarot be able to master his divine energy completely. Being able to access the state of a god and even transform into Super Saiyan God. Kakarot, the state of a god is simply that each of his techniques, instead of carrying a normal key, will be with a divine key. Unlike the Super Saiyan God, which will grant him regeneration, speed, and dexterity on the battlefield. I understand, Whis. Thank you very much for each of your teachings. 
Without you, I could not achieve anything of what I had achieved so far. Meanwhile, the evil Emperor Frieza was on his ship, a little pensive due to the last words of a Saiyan, which were tormenting them every day of their entire existence. Frieza, it doesn't matter that you end my life right now. The legendary Saiyan has been born, and when he's in front of you, you'll know what I'm talking about. Damn memories! I can't believe that the words of a dirty Saiyan make me think too much. This is unforgivable. I can't let it go. I will finish with all the remaining Saiyans. Frieza at the moment would send of each surviving Saiyan who began to go to the planet Namek, because Frieza likewise desired immortality for fear of the legendary Super Saiyan. Instantly, they would arrive on the planet Prince Vegeta along with Raditz and Nappa, who would make a blow to the great Frieza, who without any remorse would begin to torture each of the Saiyans, who were not able to do absolutely anything. I'll not kill you. You will witness how I, the great Frieza, will become an immortal being. Meanwhile, on the planet of Beerus, Kakarot would feel a picket in his heart. That's right, Kakarot felt that something very bad was about to happen for someone he greatly appreciated. Whis, I'm sorry, but I'll go to where my heart takes me. I feel that something very bad's about to happen with someone close to me. I understand, Kakarot, but let me investigate for a moment to help you. Wiz, with his staff, would investigate much faster, realizing that the last survivors of the Saiyan race were about to be eliminated by Frieza. Wiz would inform all this to Kakarot, who with that information would be able to quickly get to where Frieza was in front of the Dragon Spheres. Instantly, Raditz on the verge of death would recognize Kakarot being identical to his father. K -k -k kakarot Where have you been? I've gone to the planet Earth and searched for you and I couldn't find you. Kakarot would realize that the guy who was on the floor was his brother. Since Whis had previously informed him where his ship was really going, Frieza, at the moment of observing him, would enter into a great panic. Due to recognizing him instantly, Frieza, with the help of a Namekian, would ask for his wish quickly, obtaining eternal life. Damn, there's nothing we can do anymore. The damn Frieza has achieved immortality. <laughs> at this moment, I'll teach you even though you're immortal, there are ways to end beings like you. Don't make me laugh. You're a simple dirty monkey. Frieza, without trusting himself in the same way, would accede to his last form, with which instantly he would pronounce against Kakarot, giving hundreds of cuts, which Goku, just by bending down a little, was able to dodge all completely. But at that moment, Kakarot would connect a slightly blow, sending Frieza to fly, while throwing a sphere of golden energy with which it served for the tree of Saiyans to recover completely. Doesn't make any fun for me to end up with being as pathetic as you. Annoying, Frieza would start attacking with fists, kicks, and energy rays, and nothing was capable of destroying Kakarot's defense. Which, upon realizing that the supposed Emperor of Evil, Frieza, was nothing but a disappointment, decided to stretch out one of his hands in his state beyond a god. This is one of the many ways to end the life of an immortal, since the divine energy is capable of ending immortal beings. Kakarot of a large energy G sphere would be able to raise Frieza in the air, disappearing it in simple atoms. Kakarot would return to observe the trio of Saiyans who were also trembling at the instant of Raditz wanting to say something. Kakarot would disappear from the place, quickly returning to the planet of Beerus. Oh, wow, that was fast, Kakarot. I don't know what they call him, the Emperor of Evil. If the power he possessed was nothing out of the ordinary, he was a cockroach more. What happens, Kakarot, that you've trained with the master of a god of destruction? That's why your power exploded in an amazing way. You're right, Wiss, but I don't plan to have contact with those Saiyans because their whole heart's pure evil, and I can't tolerate that. Wiss and Kakarot continued with their training. However, Wiss, realizing that the progress of Kakarot, decided to send him to train to the dimension of his staff. From today, we will take on new training. You must be able to master the whole state of a god completely and the control of your internal energy. Wiss would absorb Kakarot with his staff, sending him to a very different dimension, in which Kakarot was not able to move, and even his body was very heavy. What is this? I'm not able to move! Kakarot would spend several weeks without being able to move in the slightest. However, after a while, all the energy in his body would begin to attach to the place. Each energy vein began to expand much more. At the moment, Kakarot would stop expelling power to try to move. On the contrary, he would let his internal energy guide him by neutralizing his power he was able to move normally. 
So this is the power of a god, the power that I must completely control. I know I could do it. Kakarot would start training in that place for several months, which each being in the Super Saiyan Blue after six months, Whis would take Kakarot out of that dimension, being a little surprised to observe the new transformation that Kakarot had obtained. Kakarot, the power you have achieved is incredible. Thank you, Whis, I really appreciate it. At that moment, I will teach you a technique which is capable of multiplying your power. Some time ago, I taught you to Kaio, but not being able to learn it, I created his. To multiply my power? I want to learn it. I want to achieve it. I will teach it to you in case you are in case of death or life, since this technique has no effects on the body. But what do you mean? What's the side effects of this technique? The technique is called Hyper Kaioken, but if you use it for more than 48 hours, your soul is affected in an incredible way, and not even the Super Dragon Balls will be able to bring you back to life. I understand, Wiss, but I still want to learn it. If on some occasion an extremely powerful warrior corners me, I plan to use it. I prefer to die with it. That's what a true warrior would say then, Kakarot. I hope you're prepared to endure the training of the Hyper Kaioken. Whis would begin with the teachings of the Hyper Kaioken, which at the beginning were capable of even making Kakarot scream for all the pain he suffered in the training. However, every time Whis was about to stop, Kakarot refused. He wanted to take his body to the limit. At the end of each training, Kakarot was in his base state and on the verge of death. The physique it takes to maintain this technique must be amazing. This hurts too much. I feel like every part of my body is tearing. After spending about two months of suffering for Kakarot, he was able to master the technique completely. Kakarot, I'm very proud of you. You've been able to master the Hyper Kaioken, a technique just as complex as the Ultra Instinct. I don't know what the Ultra Instinct is, but if it's I'm able to master the Hyper Kaioken, I'm sure I'll be able to master that technique. Kakarot, with a lot of enthusiasm, will activate the Kaioken in his blue god state, which at the moment of activating it, he would feel how his power had increased in an incredible way. His power is amazing! I can't believe all the power running through my body! Kakarot would take his body to the limit, realizing that so much power was capable of supporting his entire body. The power that Kakarot had obtained in that short period of time had been incredible, and when combined with the Kaioken, his power had skyrocketed in an incredible way. So much was his power on this occasion that he was even able to attract the attention of Beerus, the god of destruction of the entire Universe 7. What's all this fuss? Whis, but who is he? Oh, Mr. Beerus, I ask you an apology, and answering your other question, he's a Saiyan, and his name is Kakarot. Knowing that you constantly get bored, decided to train him. <laughs> so train him? Do you think this simple mortal's capable of doing something to me? Mr. Beerus, don't underestimate him, because he can end up in terrible conditions his power is. Whis was not able to finish his sentence because at that precise moment, Beerus had thrown himself against Kakarot who, when observing him in front of him, by intuition was able to cover himself with an incredible blow, but the power was so much that he would even send him flying to a few mountains destroying them completely. <laughs> is that really all the power of that saying? I didn't even use 45% of all my power, and apparently he was defeated. At that moment that Beerus was about to retire, a great rumble would be felt from that crater where Kakarot had been sent to fly. At that moment, Kakarot of a great speed would begin to exchange blows with Beerus, who would be a little surprised to realize how that Saiyan was able to keep up with him. Beerus, at that moment, would be hit by a great blow, which would make him fall sharply to the planet. The fact that you're on this planet gives me to understand that you're the powerful Beerus. That being that Whis talked to me so much, but I don't care if you're a god, I won't let you humble me like that. Beerus would recover from the blow and come out of that crater very confident. The blow you gave me was powerful, but it wasn't powerful enough to make me bleed. You still need a lot more power. Beerus, at that moment of finishing his sentence, was able to give him a big blow to the stomach, which Kakarot would spit out large amounts of blood due to all the damage he had caused. Kakarot, despite being used, the Hyper Kaioken would feel overshadowed by Beerus. <laughs> Apparently, I'll have to use all my power, the power with which I wanted to perfect her to beat Whis. Were you underestimating me? If you have more power, it would be better to release it right now. Otherwise, I'll end your pathetic life. Instantly from a great light, you could feel an incredible heat as well as a great pressure all over the planet of Beerus. 
What is Kakarot doing? But he must intervene because otherwise the universe would be affected. Whis, with his great power, he would use a magnetic field on the entire planet of Beerus, with which he was able to protect the entire Universe 7, while Kakarot would appear with a totally distant appearance since this time all his hair was a black color, while his eyes were an imposing silver color. What is that? I feel as if the pressure to a higher being crushed me, but this must not be happening. This damn guy is a simple Saiyan! Beerus, at that moment of attacking him, he would be received by the strongest blow he had ever received, feeling like his life was completely taken away. <sighs> Dermy, damn! Where the hell did you get so much power from? Kakarot, without any expression, would begin to approach Beerus, which at that moment, he would release all his power. That's right, the power of Super Beerus. That's right, Beerus was releasing 100% of all his power, something he had never done because being considered a prodigy, I never needed to use all his ability, and he had been able to fight against the 11 gods at once, being able to win the victory. But against Kakarot, it was totally different, since the powers despised not feeling it, did not allow him to move freely. I admit you're very powerful, but I did not think that Wiss trained you in an excellent way, but I doubt you'll be able to cope with 100% of all my power. Beerus' power had been insane, as the barrier that even Wiss had placed was starting to crack. This is amazing! I do not think that the power of Mr. Beerus is capable of reaching this limit. However, Wiss would instantly remember the words that his father Daishank and Sama had said back to him. My son, you as the prodigal angel will be the guardian and teacher of Beerus, the god of the universe 7. Father, I'll do whatever you ask, but in the short time I've spent with Mr. Beerus, he doesn't do anything for training, he just sleeps. I know the descent of Beerus, and I know that he's a very powerful being, so he must have the best guardian and the best teacher, so that he knows how to distinguish between good and evil, because if he's guided by the path of evil, it'll be a sea of blood. So that's why my father asked me to be the guardian of Lord Beerus. I've never seen him use 100% of all his power. Even against all the gods, I only use 52%. Apparently, Kakarot's power is incredible. At that moment of a great explosion all over the place of purple energy, one could observe Beerus, which apparently had not changed so much, but moved at an incredible speed towards Kakarot, which despite the incredible speed of Beerus, was able to dodge his blow, which would annoy Beerus much more. But the instant Kakarot attacked him, Beerus was still able to dodge each of his blows. Flickering divine light! A big light would leave Kakarot without vision, which Beerus would take advantage of to connect several blows to him. But to his surprise, Kakarot had been able to dodge each one of them, and would connect the first blow on Beerus having no result. It doesn't matter that you leave me without vision, that won't do you any good. Since the Ultra Instinct is the state of one's body, I don't need this sight. Wiss would be very surprised to realize how Kakra had been able to access the Ultra Instinct without his help. But Beerus, without holding back in the slightest, would begin to attack Kakarot, which with the passage of the battle his power was wearing out, of which both deities would notice. Your incredible power is starting to leave you. Apparently you still haven't mastered it in its entirety of the Ultra Instinct, but I must give you credit, since no god's been able to activate it to that level you possess it. Kakarot at the moment would be knocked down with a great blow to the ground, with which Beerus had been able to inject some destructive energy into Kakarot's inner base, which accelerated the duration of the Ultra Instinct. Damn, for God of Destruction you're very smart, but I'm not going to give up so easily. Kakarot would begin to channel the maximum power throughout his body, with which he was becoming a Saiyan Bomb. However, the only one who would realize all this would be Whis, since for Beerus, he was only raising all his remaining power. At that precise moment, Kakarot, as if it were a flash, was even able to disappear from reality itself, appearing behind Beerus, which would instantly hold him tightly. Beerus, realizing Kakarot's intention, would use all his power to break free from that furative grip. Ha ha ha! Too late, Beerus! We won't die, but I'll show you that even though I'm immortal, you don't have the right to treat me like I'm trash. Big explosion would be observed all over the planet of Beerus, which in an instant, he was feeling as his whole body was torn. That's right, the incredible power of Kakarot had been able to leave Beerus on the verge of death, because instantly Kakarot would fall to the ground very badly injured and on the verge of death. 
While Beerus had wounds all over his body, where large amounts of blood came out of his mouth. Saiyan, you're a genius. I must recognize you as the most powerful being that I, the super god Beerus, had faced. You have all my respect. Beerus would likewise be knocked out of combat, and at the moment, Whis would approach both, restoring all his wounds and recovering all his power. However, from the shadows, an opposing warrior was watching everything that had happened. So, after millions of years, that damn Saiyan race still exists. I cannot allow to be born against a Saiyan like Yamoshi bastard was. Meanwhile, the kingdom of the All Daishaken was together with his king, but instantly a bloody sensation would be felt all over the place, to which even the guardians of Xenosama would become alert. Who are you? How is it possible that you emanate all this negativity? <laughs> Don't you remember me, priest? I was who the first commander of the underworld troops, and known for his first fallen angel. This is impossible, but if you're Bayakuya, my firstborn, the most destructive angel who has ever succeeded, but your heart was corrupted by the desire for absolute evil. I'm here to inform you that I've returned, so you better prepare an entire army, since I'm not planning to leave anything of the divine realm alive. Bayakuya, even though you're considered a prodigy, you are not able to face me. I'm much more powerful than you. We need to check that, father. All the murderous essence would disappear from the place, but Daishenka was very worried, giving notice to all the gods and angels of the incredible problem that was approaching all the 12 universes. Gods and angels, in case you meet Bayakuya, inform everyone else, because in a one-on-one -on -one battle you have no chance. Bayakuya is your older brother, the most powerful angel, and even above the power of Returning to the planet of Beerus, Kakarot would wake up with a severe headache. Ah, my head hurts a lot. What happened? How long have I been unconscious? Kakarot would change his expression to a much more serious one, realizing how the deities of Universe 7 were very serious and thoughtful. Has something bad happened? Kakarot, apparently a very powerful being, has returned after so many millions of years, and he has returned in order to destroy every divine being. You're wrong, Wiss. I've returned to destroy everything created by the Divine World. The incredible planet of Beerus began to be destroyed while both deities went into an incredible panic, not even able to breathe due to the incredible pressure. However, from Kakarot's body, a very strange energy began to emanate from it, which did not allow a star-level Saiyan to kneel before Bayakuya. That's why Kakarot was the last descendant of the powerful Yamoshi, which had even been able to make all the gods tremble together. Due to the bestial and overwhelming power he possessed, Bayakuya, upon realizing, as the power of that Saiyan began to grow in an incredible way and would recognize part of the power of Yamoshi, would quickly approach to stop the rise of Kakarot's power. However, the incredible power of Beerus would be put in front of Kakarot and likewise Whis. The power of Kakarot releases right now is even comparable to the A-level priest rank, and if you came to get rid of Kakarot first, it must be for something very important. Don't meddle in my affairs, demon of darkness. At the first moment, a large dark colored being would begin to fight with both deities, which were not able to move freely due to the pressure of Bayakuya. But at the moment to approach Kakarot, a blow from a power from another world would send him flying to a planet, which even the planet would explode upon simple contact. Ah, so this is the power of the Super Saiyan Primal. What a power for more amazing. I swear I'll honor your power and offspring, Yamoshi. Kakarot would begin to accumulate all his power, as far as his body could resist, because the power of the Saiyan Primal seemed to have no Kaimite at all, while several roars would shake all the 12 universes. The incredible power of Kakarot in his Primal transformation was incredible. It seemed as if he, even a king at all, was in front of it. Bayakuya, at the moment, would stand in front of Kakarot showing his true appearance which was that of a tall, blonde, and very muscular warrior, which only with his presence was able to make any warrior bend. But this did not happen with Kakarot. For a simple Saiyan who has not yet reached his full development, you have a power even greater than Yamoshi's. Heh <laughs> I've had good teachers, and I've never given up, and this will not be the exception. I plan to end your legacy. <laughs> And my legacy, that's impossible, because if you're lucky enough to defeat me, 
There are many more warriors who wish to end Yamoshi's offspring. I want to see if they can do it, so it's time to start fighting. Kakra would be the first to launch the attack, which would be reciprocated by Bayakuya, who at that moment began to exchange hundreds of blows. However, Kakra would realize how Beerus and Whis were not able to withstand all that incredible battle. So at the moment, he would be able to grant a powerful blow to Bayakuya, moving quickly towards the deities, but Bayakuya, with his great perception, was able to take Kakarot's legs, throwing him to the other extreme. Damn! Will not allow my teacher to die in this place! Cell Division! Kakarot Evil God! From the primal Kakarot's body, the Kakarot with pure negative energy was detached, which had red hair while Kakarot and Bayakuya faced each other. The negative Kakarot would quickly approach the other deities. I'll send you to the Kingdom of the All. Don't worry about me. I'll end this battle. I have the power beyond a god. Both deities would be sent to the Kingdom of the Whole at an incredible speed. But at this time, Kakra had received several gravity blows, because by using Cell Division, his power was divided into two, which was not recommended if his opponent was more powerful. At the moment, both warriors would quickly form a single warrior again. Kakra would be able to cover himself with a large sphere of energy, which if it reached him, would be able to cause great damage. That attack was dangerous. I have to fight seriously because that bastard's trying to end my life. Today, only one of the two will be able to get out of this universe alive, and I think it'll be me. Bayakuya, with an even greater speed, was able to grant a great blow to Kakarot's stomach, which at the moment, large amounts of blood would come out of his mouth. Damn worm, you think I'm lacking the hands to hit you back? Kakarot, with much higher power, was able to pass through Bayakuya, which would feel like his life was taken away due to the great damage he had received. Damn, I never thought I'd have to wear this with you. Heavenly armor, divine protection. Bayakuya's entire body would be protected by an incredible golden armor, which at the moment of Kakarot hitting a blow would not be able to cause any scratches. Kakarot would use all his power and grant several blows on all of Bayakuya's armor, having no result. On the contrary, his fists were bloodied. Damn, my fists hurt when I hit him. What the hell is that armor made of? Ha ha ha. No matter what you do, this arm will be able to repel all your blows, since you don't have the necessary power to destroy it. As far as I could tell, when I hit it, all the impact was distributed, but what would happen if I hit it at the same point? Kakarot would begin to attack at the same point, which at the moment the armor would be cracked a little. Bayakuya, realizing this would be surprised, and without trusting himself, would begin to defend in the same way. Meanwhile, in the Kingdom of the Whole, Beerus and Whis had arrived. Wiss and Beerus, what had happened? There's no call from the gods, so if they are in this place, it's due to something very important. Daishenken Sama, Bayakuya would appear in our universe, but we weren't able to inform him since he seals the whole universe. If I seal the entire universe, how the hell were they able to escape from that place? Kakarot, a Sane whom I trained since birth, gave us the perfect break for us to escape. Listen well. Did you say a Saiyan stayed fighting against Bayakuya? So his father. From what I could observe and listen, he was able to access a transformation called the Primal Saiyan. Daishenken at the moment would be filled with an incredible terror, while his whole body began to tremble at the knowledge of the name of the transformation. Father, what's the matter with you? Did I say something wrong? Millions of years ago, I... The great priest was completely humiliated before Yamoshi, and his transformation called Legendary Saiyan Primal. The power that Yamoshi possessed in that transformation had no limit. I never had a chance against him, but despite that, he reduced his power to have an even battle with me. So I can't believe what you're telling me. I was able to hear that Kakarot's the offspring of Yamoshi. In that case, that Saiyan named Kakarot is the key to end this whole battle because if his power is as great as Yamoshi's, he can put them at bay. Returning to the battlefield, Kakarot's power would begin to decrease drastically, because his entire body and internal energy was not used to the power beyond a god, much less the power of the same primal, which Bayakuya would not hesitate. While Kakarot was massacred by Bayakuya, in his mind, he was able to observe Yamoshi. Kakarot, you have the potential to even surpass me, but it's not the time since you're still very young and sometimes we have to know when we should retire. Kakarot, while being beaten, would communicate with Yamoshi. No, Yamoshi! I don't want to let this damn war make fun of me. 
Kakarot, in case you win this battle, you will be stalked by a much more powerful being. I trust you, and I know that you will make the right decision. By Akuya, you're an incredibly, extremely powerful being, but I'm not afraid that I'm not at maximum capacity right now, so we'll have to postpone our battle. Cursed mortal, now that you know that you're the offspring of Yamoshi, don't even think that I'll leave you alive. I intend to end you this very instant. Bayakuya with a magnificent speed was about to hold Kakarot by the face, but Kakarot with the three-dimensional technique was able to be enveloped in a capsule of his own energy, with which he was able to reach the Kingdom of the Hole, realizing because at the moment of arrival, an incredible crater would be created and Kakarot would be observed with terrible wounds. But the most affected were the energy veins, which seemed to explode. Seriously, this mortal has the necessary power to save us, because if we were Yamoshi's offspring, we wouldn't have a chance. My little Kakarot, I'll heal you all your wounds together with my father. Instantly, Zeno-sama, along with his guardians, would leave the palace because they heard such a rumble, Zeno-sama would be a little surprised to notice a mortal. Die! tell me what's going on. What was the big tremor you felt a few minutes ago? My lord, the tremor that was felt a moment ago was the Saiyan, which with its great power was able to reach our planet. Xenosama, understanding absolutely nothing, but at that moment, in all the universes, an opposing warrior would present, but it was only his aura and essence. After so many millions of years, the last offspring of Yamoshi has appeared. We think to end the whole divine world, but in case they gave us that mortal, we'll do absolutely nothing. The essence would disappear from the 12 universes, but all the planets began to tremble due to the power, while Xenosama's gaze would change to a much more serious. That guy was Megun, the dimensional king of infinity. This is impossible, Xenosama. Megun would never go down to these universes, since the level of power is too poor compared to his universe omnipresent level. It's said that the legendary Yamoshi was able to be born as the weakest mortal, but was also able to access the highest divine territory. So that is why they want all their offspring to perish. King of all, Xenosama, we cannot accept, since if Yamoshi's offspring dies, all of us will be his slaves. Wiss is right. No matter what we do, we will protect Kakarot, even with our lives so that he will be able to reach his maximum power. Meanwhile, the entire internal system of Kakarot was in a terrible state. Despite being healed by the Great Priest, this was not enough to recover the incredible damage of the primal Super Saiyan. Apparently, you'll have the joy of feeling the power of the most powerful god that has ever existed. The essence of the priest will not be enough. The essence of Yamoshi inside would release a little of his power, with which he was able to completely stabilize all his internal energy. That's right, the entire Kakarot system would begin to regenerate at an incredible speed, with a much higher power. Meanwhile, on the planet of Beerus, by Akuya, he was very badly injured, since Kakarot's blows had likewise been an overwhelming. Hell, I don't know how I was able to stay at his level, but now I'm not able to move anymore. Damn, I'll die in this place. But at that moment, a large portal would be created all over the place, from which a crimson-haired warrior, a bit similar to Bayakuya, would emerge. Well, well, brother. Apparently, you've been beaten up. Brother, please help me. I'm not able to move. I can't do anything. Well, of course, if brother, don't worry. Right this very instant, you'll become a part of me, so you won't be a damn nuisance. Bayakuya, sensing his murderous essence of his brother, would try to flee, but it was impossible for him, as he would be dragged to the ground by such incredible power. You're a fucking bastard! We're family! And you're planning to end me? I never thought you'd be this kind of scum. You don't have to be surprised. Who do you think ended our sister's life? I, unlike you, am not able to cultivate my power, but I am able to absorb it. You worm! You're giving me to understand that your miserable bastard absorbed our dear sister! Ha ha ha! That's right. I cannot deny that his energy was so great that I had to be on rest for three months, because if I didn't, I could explode. Bayakuya would try to pounce against his brother, but it was impossible for him. The great pressure, he would crush him as if he were a simple ant. Don't worry, I'll finish the job so you weren't able to do, because otherwise our father will finish us. 
Kimura would begin to absorb all the vital energy and the power of his brother. However, Bayakuya would try to cause an explosion of all his power. But this was impossible for him since he had been paralyzed by his brother's murderous intention. It's time to end your life, you scum. Kimuro, stealing every drop of his energy, would throw him a great power, with which he was able to reduce him to simple atoms. In the kingdom as a whole, those present were surprised to realize how Kimuro had ended his brother's life. Those bastards are heartless. We have enough power to finish these bastards, because if we don't, they'll finish us. That's right, I doubt Megun will keep his word, because if they're able to end his family's life, we, who are nothing to them, will be their slaves or energy food. Father, I totally trust Kakarot. I know that he will have the necessary power to defeat these new villains. In the entire realm of the All, an incredible power would be perceived all over the place. While various catastrophes and anomalies were forming around everything, that's right, Kakarot had been completely healed. But not being used to Yamoshi's power, his body was coupling all that new power to his internal sea of energy, with which he made all the 12 universes tremble. Even Kimuro and Megum felt such incredible power. The confrontation between Whis and Ryuk intensified as space became the stage for their fierce cosmic battle. The clash of divine and dark energies echoed in the void of the universe, creating ripples that stretched to the far reaches of space. <laughs> you think you can stop me, Whis? The master of divine martial arts, Whis, maintained a serene composure as he resisted the onslaught of the devourer of worlds, Disciple. His divine aura glowed brightly fighting against the darkness that threatened to envelop him. Whis, with a wave of his hand, unleashed a blast of divine energy that forced Ryuk back momentarily. However, the smile on the dark being's face revealed that he was far from giving up. Ryuk, your quest for power will only lead to destruction. Ryuk, releasing a sinister laugh, launched himself at Whis with renowned furiosity. Each exchange of blows was like a clash of titans, with the fate of the universe hanging in the balance. Meanwhile, Beerus was recovering from the wounds inflicted by Ryuk, watching the battle with critical eyes. The darkness that had pierced his abdomen was beginning to dissipate thanks to divine regeneration, but the experience had left an indelible mark. This creature is more formidable than I imagined. And determined not to be a mere spectator, Beerus joined the battle with renowned determination. His figure flashed with divine energy that rivaled Wiss's, creating a spectacle of light and shadow in space. The three powerful beings engaged in a cosmic dance, with flashes of divine and dark energy illuminating the vastness of the universe. Ryuk, without losing his smirk, took advantage of his transformation to increase his speed and strength, challenging the gods with every move. The combat reached new levels of complexity when Wiss, in a flash of cunning, unleashed a divine teleportation technique. He moved at the speed of thought, appearing and disappearing at different points in space, keeping Ryuk on the defensive. Ugh, you can't dodge me forever, Wiss. As Wiss and Ryuk clashed in space, Beerus focused on channeling his divine energy. The destroyer god sank into a meditative state, concentrating on unleashing his true power. Beerus's transformation was gradual but impactful, his figure was enveloped in a golden aura, and his eyes shone with the intensity of a star. Divine power flowed through him, manifesting in a form that only the mightiest gods could attain, allowing the grievous wound left by Ryuk to be healed. It's time to put an end to this. The reborn Beerus lunged towards Ryuk with unparalleled speed. Each blow he delivered was imbued with overwhelming divine energy. Ryuk, though powerful, was overwhelmed by the onslaught of the Destroyer God. Meanwhile, Whis continued his cosmic ballet, defying the laws of space and time with his speed and agility. Every move was calculated, every blow strategically executed. The battle reached its climax as Beerus and Whis coordinated, combining their attacks to create a symphony of divine energy that enveloped Ryuk. The pressure in the air became almost tangible and the cosmos itself seemed to rumble with the intensity of the conflict. Do you have anything to say, Ryuk? Ryuk, gravely wounded but still defiant, let out a shrill laugh. His figure writhed as the dark energy tried to resist the overwhelming pressure of the gods. <laughs> this is not the end, gods. My master will be released, and his darkness will devour all. 
Beerus, showing no mercy, unleashed a sphere of concentrated divine energy and hurled it directly at Ryuk. The resulting explosion illuminated the space, dispelling the darkness that had lingered. Silence fell over the space as the gods watched the wreckage of the battle. Ryuk lay motionless, defeated, but not destroyed. His threat had been contained, at least for now. This is not over. We need to find out more about his master and any threat that may arise. Wiss nodded, sharing the same determination. The reality of the danger that stalked the universe became more apparent, and the gods knew they had to prepare to face even greater challenges. The cosmic explosion that marked the end of the fierce battle dissipated into the vast space, leaving Wiss and Beerus floating in momentary tranquility. As they regained their composure, a flash of gold announced the arrival of Daishenken, the high priest, who appeared before them with a serene but worried expression. I see you've dealt with the threat, dear Wiss and Beerus. Yes, father. Ryuk has been contained, at least for now. But this isn't the end, is it? Daishenken smiled wisely as he held in his hands a strange artifact, a glowing sphere that emanated in an energy like the one they felt during the battle. This is what I wanted to show you. It's known as the Sphere of Divine Containment, an ancient artifact capable of sealing beings of great power and darkness. Beerus and Wiss watched intently as Daishenken explained the function of the sphere and how it was used to keep the most dangerous entities in the universe at bay. This artifact has been kept in safekeeping for eons. It's only brought to light in extreme situations. The dark energy they felt came from one of these sealed entities, released by Ryuk's recklessness. Wiss and Beerus exchanged worried glances as they assimilated the information. Who are these sealed entities? They are beings from the distant past. Fallen gods and creatures whose thirst for power make them uncontrollable. The sphere of divine containment is our safeguard against their resurgence. So, Ryuk was one of them, and his master? His master is the devourer of worlds, an even more ancient and dangerous being. His release could jeopardize existence itself. The gravity of the situation hung heavy in the air as Daishenka continued to explain the importance of keeping the sphere of divine containment safe and sealing Ryuk again. Now that Ryuk has been contained, it's crucial that he returns to his place of safe keeping. But we also need to get information from him. We need to know more about the Devourer of Worlds' plans and any threats that may arise. Beerus, Wiss, and Daishenken shared a determined look. The task was not complete. There is still work to be done. If interrogating Ryo could give us answers, we'll do so. But we must proceed with caution. The information we gathered will be essential to prepare for future threats. Also, we need to reinforce the security of the sphere of divine containment. Daishenken, with a nod of his head, showed his approval of the god's decision. Very well. Let us return to the realm of all and set preparations in motion. The safety of the universe depends on us. The three gods with the glowing sphere in hand teleported to the realm of all, ready to confront the shadows of the past and ensure the stability of the universe. The spheres of divine containment, now more than ever, became the beacon of hope amidst the darkness that threatened to emerge. Meanwhile on Earth, the Z warriors, divided into groups, scattered into the sky in the direction of the unknown presences they had sensed on the planet of the northern Kaiosama. In the air, they moved at impressive speeds, ready to face any threat that crossed their path. On Kaiosama's planet, Goku and Vegeta appeared thanks to teleportation scarring Kaiosama with serious and determined expressions. Kaiosama, who was waiting for them, welcomed them with nervous gestures. Goku, Vegeta, I'm glad you came so quickly. The information I have is crucial. We need to know what this artifact is and what threat it poses. We don't have time to waste. What do you know? Kaiosama nodded and let the Saiyans to his small home on the planet. Once inside, they unfolded an ancient scroll that revealed information about a mystical artifact known as the Cosmic Core of Containment. He explained that this artifact was used by the ancient gods to seal entities of great evil and power, preventing them from wreaking havoc in the universe. This artifact is so ancient that there are hardly any records of its creation. It was thought to be lost, but apparently all this time it was hidden on planet Earth.
what will happen next? Find out in the next chapter. Well, guys, this is all for today's chapter. I hope you liked it and it was to your liking. Now, don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment, and subscribe. Now, without further ado, see you in a new video. Until next time.